All right, guys. Just want to show you my uh, mode switch selector installation that I've just done here. And all the fancy jazz that it'll do. If you look here, you've got boost target. And that's controlled by a function of ethanol content and which gear I'm in. It's then also uh, controlled by a modifier table, um, mode switch versus gear. I don't know why it's so shaky. I'm actually not really moving at all. But anyways, yeah, so I can take this mode switch selector and go to position zero and boost target. And position zero is going to be up this line here um, against this. So it's going to take 16 pounds, was basically what I made it calculate. So it's going to calculate 16 pounds at mode set switch position zero. Now something else that's really cool is on traction control. I also have my mode switch uh, controlling slip. So, I'm going to just tab this out so that way you can see it. So, based on which gear it's calculating right now, it thinks I'm in sixth gear because the engine's not moving. So, naturally, it um, calculates that it's sixth gear. But check this out. So, I've got it on mode switch one, which is boost 16 PSI. And if you look, it has slip target trim. Well, what that basically is, is traction control off. It's not going to do anything with mode position zero with 16 PSI. It's just going to be off. Now, if I go to mode switch position one, and now it gives me a five mile per hour slip target, and it's going to pull fuel. It's going to do uh, cold strokes. It's going to just skip an injection and spark sequence. It's also going to reduce ignition timing when it is uh, using ignition. Now check this out over here on boost target. You can see I'm now targeting 16 pounds still, but that's because mode switch position two doesn't uh, really do anything for me in sixth gear. It's actually not mode position two, excuse me. That's mode position one, which is basically still 16 pounds. And uh, so nothing's changed here. So it's still 16 pounds because it's mode position one. Mode position zero basically is position one with traction control off. So then I set up position two, same thing. Traction control is on, but now it's targeting 23 pounds of boost. Position three is now 26 pounds of boost and varied by ethanol content and gear. So it's going to variably calculate so right now it's going to subtract nothing from this table. So first gear 16, second gear 20, 21, 24, 26. I'm going to mess with this some more as I uh, mess with it. So if I go from position three to position four, it now goes back to 16 pounds again. Well, why would I want that? So here we go. Traction control, mode switch position four. I have a 10 mile per hour wheel slip trim. Then I go from same thing again. Four, five, six is going to uh, trim my boost target. Position seven, 15, or whatever I want it to be. This will be uh, full power and basically traction control at, um, well, this is nearly full power and traction control at uh, the absolute least that it'll do until you go to position 10. Position 10 will kind of be like, you know, almost kill mode, which it is on basically kill mode here at position 9 and 10. And then 11 is going to, again, the traction control off 
on kill mode. So I call it kill mode. It's a joke. But the uh, race guys in Formula One, a lot of times when they say they're doing qualifying or they're trying to catch the dude in front of them, that they'll have it on mode 11. And as you can see here, I literally have a mode 11 now. <laughs> I don't know. I thought that was kind of hilarious. I hope you guys uh, appreciate this. I'm going to set it back to how I want it, which is going to be uh, position five, which is going to be limited traction control, but not a whole lot of it. It's basically middle of the road and um, about 23 pounds of boost. Hope you guys enjoy this.